Hello, and welcome to another edition of Medhurst Maths with me, your most awesome maths teacher, Mr. Medhurst. It's been a while since my last video, been busy, can't do much, but as you can see, I've got an upgrade, okay? So, new board, new maths, okay? So today, I'm going to be working on CERTs, as you can see, working with CERTs. It's going to be part one of a few series of videos I'm going to do on CERTs. So, we're going to start with the basics, simplifying, multiplying and dividing CERTs. And then, we're going to move on to the more complicated stuff like expanding brackets and rationalising the denominator and working with CERTs generally. So, we're going to start with simplifying CERTs. Okay, CERTs, nice, easy, love them, so are you by the end of this video. Now, when you're working with CERTs, you need to remember it's all to do with square numbers. So first thing you need to do is remember your square numbers. So, start off, 1 squared, don't need that, no use to us with thirds. So we start with 2 squared, it's 4, 3 squared, 9, 4 squared, 16, 5 squared, 25, 6 squared, 36, and so on. Don't normally tend to need to go above 10 squared, so we know from 2 to 10 squared. That's our starting point. So, when we've got some thirds, okay, we're going to start with this, square root of 8. We need to simplify this, make it as easy as possible to work with. So, what we do is we look for the biggest square number that goes into 8. So, my biggest square number that goes into 8 is 4. So, what I do, I split this up in my third. In my square root, I split it to the square root of 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Now I've done this, what I can do is split these up. So I split this into the square root of 4 the square root of 2. Now, as we all know, the square root of 4 is correct, 2. So this is going to be 2 root 2. And that is our simplifying. Lovely jubbly done. Now I can't throw these pens away because they're an attractive board, but don't worry. I've got these ones. That goes down there. You love it. So do I. Okay. Square root of 12. Do the same thing. Okay. So start. Biggest square number that goes into 12. Okay. Again, 4. 4 times 3 is 12. We can do that. 9, we can't. Okay. 9 doesn't multiply by any whole number to give us 12. Okay. So again, we're going to be looking at 4. So we go. 12 is a square root of 4 times 3. Again, we split this into our two roots. So we're going to have root 4 root 3. Square root of 4 is, yep, just did it, 2, well done. And the square root of 3, we can't do anything, so we leave it, okay? That pen done, that question done. You love it, so do I, okay? Root 98, again, this one, there are multiple options that you can go with, okay? But again, look for the biggest square number, okay? Biggest square number that goes into this, 49, okay? 49 multiplied by, that's right, 2, okay? So 49 multiplied by 2 gives us 98. So this is going to be the square root of 49 times by the square root of 2, okay? Again, we split this up, root 49, root 2, okay? Square root of 49 is 7, so this becomes a 7, this stays as our root 2, okay? One last one, nice and simple, now we've got the hang of it. Biggest square number that goes into 1, 2, 5 exactly, okay, is 25. So this is going to be the square root of 25 times 5, okay, again, we split these, so that becomes root 25, root 5, and as we all know, square root 25 is 5, okay, so this now becomes 5, the square root of 5, okay, done, lovely, jubbly, you love it, so do I, okay, now, multiplying and dividing, very, very simple, okay, when you're multiplying a third, all you need to do is multiply the two numbers inside your square roots and put that in a single square root, okay? So we've got the square root of 5 times the square root of 10. This will become a single square root of 5 times 10. Now what we do, we multiply this up, 5 times 10 is 50, but we are not done, okay? Square root of 50, we can simplify like we've just been doing, okay? So two square numbers, the multiply to make 50. You've got it. 2 and 25. Square root of 25, square root of 2. 
that gives us five root two. Done. Lovely, jubbly. You love it. So do I. Another pen gone. Where do they come from? I don't know either. Okay. Root two, root eight times three, root two. Okay. This one again, nice and simple. Not as hard as it looks. What you need to do is multiply the numbers separately and the thirds separately. Okay. So two root eight is going to be times three root two. It's going to be two times three times root eight times root two. You bring the parts together that you want to multiply, okay? Two times three is obviously six, okay? And this is multiplied by this bit, okay? Now remember, same way as we did just there, multiply the numbers inside your square root, put them into a single one. So that's going to be six times the square root of eight times two, okay? Square root of eight times, sorry, eight times two, going to be 16. Square root of 16, as we all know, rubber, don't need a root sign. Square root of 16, as we all know, it's 4. Okay, so 6 times 4 is going to be 24. Lovely, jubbly, done and dusted. Okay, our last one 6 root 12 times 5 root 5. Okay, right, for this one, again, same thing. So we start by splitting these up. We do 6 times 5 times root 12 times root 5. We're all running out of room. What's going on there? Times root 5. Okay. 6 times 5 is going to give us 30. Okay, we're times in this by root 12 times root 5. Okay, again, do what we've just done there. Put this into a single one. So it's 30 times root of 12 times 5, okay, which is 30 times the square root of 60. Okay, this we can simplify. Okay, we can take a 4 out of this. So this is going to be 30 times square root of 4 times 15. Okay, again we can split this up, so it'll be 30 times root 4 is 2, so it'll be 30 times 2 root 15. Again we've got two numbers on the outside, multiply these together, we get, like magic, an answer, 60 the square root of 50. Okay. Done, dusted, lovely jubbly, love multiplying, easy, nice. I don't know where these are coming from, it's like magic. Okay. Lastly, dividing. Okay, dividing, what we need to do, same as multiplying, same principle, okay? We take the two thirds, we divide the numbers on the inside, okay? So we're 72 divided by root 8, okay? We take the root 72, we divide it by 8, okay? 72 divided by 8 going to give us 9, the square root of 9 is correct, 3. Done, dusted, lovely jubbly, okay? Again, same principle as multiplying. We divide this, we divide this, okay? So we do the start off with 6 divided by 3, and then for our third, we would have root 32 divided by 2. Okay? 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2. Root 32 divided by 2 is going to be the square root of 16. As we all know, square root of 16 is 4. And if you remember, back to what we already know about brackets, okay? When you've got something next to a bracket, it means multiply, okay? So this is the same as 2 times 4, which is quite clearly 8. Okay, done. Lovely jubbly. Last one, nearly finished. Keep on there. I know this has been a long video, okay? This one, root 45 divided by 3. Root 45 isn't a number, okay? So what we need to do is turn this 3 into a square root. So we do 3 squared, which is 9, okay? And that becomes our square root, as you can see over here, okay? 3 is the same as the square root of 9. So this question becomes root 45 divided by root 9, okay? Now, nice and simple, do it like we just did there, okay? So root 45 divided by 9, okay? 45 divided by 9 is 5. You've got it, okay? So now our answer becomes square root of 5. We can't simplify that. There we've done. Thirds, basics, done and dusted. You love it, so do I. Sleep well and good night.